We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I'm so happy to be with you today. It is another day that God has given us by His grace, another day to live to the fullest, another day to press on, another day to receive from Him. All of our help, all of our needs, all that we need to survive comes from God. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. I truly believe as we call upon the name of the Lord, there is never once that He doesn't hear us. He hears our cry and He answers our prayer. And He is with you today, my dear friend. Be encouraged and know God is with you and God really loves you. He cares for you and He will make a way for you where there seems to be no way. Believe and trust in Him and you will see His divine deliverance working power. My dear friend, today I want to speak special declarations over you so that your dream will come true. And I want to start by welcoming the Holy Spirit and then we'll go into a time when I share a message with you and then we'll begin to pray and speak these special declarations. So in saying that, let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit right now in your own words. Wherever you are, in the place where you're watching, welcome the Holy Spirit in that place. Precious Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and bless us. Help us to pray. Help us to press in. Help us to draw nearer to Jesus today. Help us to grow and comfort us wherever we need your comfort. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, I want to start by saying it is never too late to dream. And don't allow the hard hits and the negative things that happen in life to stop you from dreaming. Because those dreams that you have birth creativity and inspiration. And in order for you to go forward and succeed, you need that creativity and that inspiration. Furthermore, for us as born-again believers, our creativity is influenced and amplified by the Holy Spirit of God. So, we have the Holy Spirit with us and He also comforts us and He encourages us. And He leads us in the way that God wants us to go. My dear friend, it is never too late to dream. There are many people who have met who say that they have lived a lot of their life and they haven't done what they want to do. And they feel as though life has passed by. And I have the same answer that I've answered many times before. It is never too late to start. It is never too late to dream. I know of people who had career changes at the ages of 48, 49 or 50 and they are happy. They are blessed. In the same way, no matter what place you find yourself, Perhaps you are just starting out in life. Or perhaps you've gone a long way. And you've got certain dreams, certain aspirations. I encourage you today to seek God concerning them. And prayerfully move forward towards them. Take steps in the direction of your dreams. God is great. He is gracious. He is merciful. And He is with us. He helps us. Oftentimes, as born-again believers, we would find that the dreams that we have in our heart are put there by God. Perhaps it's a dream to start a school or a college in your area. Perhaps it's a dream to help young people. Perhaps it's a dream to start a company that starts small and becomes worldwide. Perhaps it's a dream to be an international speaker. 
Perhaps it's a dream to be in politics. Perhaps it's a dream to run for office at some stage in your life. No matter what that dream may be, I want to tell you that all things are possible for those who believe. All things are possible for those who believe. Because we serve the God who can do infinite and above what we can think or imagine. He can do the impossible. What mankind deems impossible is not impossible for God. Because He goes beyond our limitations. And as we put our trust in God, we begin to move in the realm where the impossible becomes possible. So your dream is possible. It is possible to make a massive impact. It is possible to reach out and leave a lasting impact and legacy that impacts many around the world. Whether it's in business, whether it's in your career, whatever area it might be. The grace of God is sufficient. Sometimes we say, but we are weak. We never came from the right place. Or we never grew up in the right place. Or we never had the right upbringing or the right education. God can do what only He can do. And He can make a way. You see, God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. And God will qualify you for what He has called you to do. Keep that in mind today as we pray and I speak these special declarations over you. In saying that, let us go into a time when we begin to praise God for a few moments. And as we discern the presence of God, then we'll go into a time when I begin to pray for you. And I'll begin to speak declarations over you under the leading and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. In saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise you and we thank you. Thank you for another day that you've given us a wonderful day. A day to live to the fullest. A day to press on. A day to receive from you. For you are good and your mercy endures forever. Your mercy truly endures forever. You are gracious, compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. And we love your presence. For you are a good God. You are a gracious God. You are a merciful God. And you speak and you live. Be glorified in all that we do, from the small things to the big things. Be glorified in our lives, in all that we receive, in all that we do. Be glorified as we pray, as we seek you, as we spend time with you, as we spend time in your presence. Be lifted up. You are our God and we give you praise. And we thank you for all that you have done for us. In Jesus' name. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for making a way for us where there was no way. Thank you for redeeming mankind and making a way through Jesus Christ that we could be saved, born again, and filled with your Spirit. We give you praise and we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. My dear friend, in saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. As we begin, I encourage you, comment and agree, connect in faith. Father, I pray for my dear friend. As I speak these special declarations, breathe life into my dear friend's dreams and ambitions and aspirations in life. Breathe life into my dear friend's ideas and mentality concerning their future that they may dream again. My dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter, I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, I decree and declare in faith, may God breathe life right now into your dreams. May strength and inspiration and encouragement begin to rise right now inside of you. Wherever the world has hit you down and life has been harsh and it's discouraged you, may encouragement 
begin to arise right now and may you have a renewed passion and dream. May dead bones of dreams and inspiration and things that you wanted to do begin to live again. May God open doors of opportunity, doors of favor in the area of your dream. May God give you strength and grace to be able to push through in the area that you want to go. May God anoint you and surround you with His goodness and mercy. May God surround you with favor as with a shield in the area of your dream. May God enlighten the eyes of your heart that you may know His will, His perfect will for your life. And you may walk in your purpose and your destiny. You see, my dear friend, there is no better place to be than in the place God destined and prepared for you to be. There is no better place to walk in than in your purpose and destiny. May God breathe life into your purpose and destiny. And may God strengthen you through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. May the Holy Spirit enlighten you and give you ideas, creative ideas, and fresh inspiration. Do not be discouraged. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God goes with you wherever you go. Be encouraged right now. And may God give you strength to do great things. I apply the blood of Jesus over you and over your dream. That you will be successful in what you set your hands to do. I bless the work of your hands. That as you apply yourself in integrity and honor. God will bless you and he will bless you even more. In Jesus mighty name. Amen and Amen. The grace of God is with you. And God is with you. God is going before you and He is making a way. Let your heart be inspired and let hope arise because the best is yet to come. It is not over until Jesus says it's over. God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.